Rapunzel Saves Silly Dwarf Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a very beautiful girl named Rapunzel. One day, this beautiful girl went for a stroll in the forest with her best friend, Clapsy. You know what, Clapsy? Sometimes I want to name all of these flowers you see. For example, look, its name is Cotton Candy. This beautiful one is Red Full Moon. <laughs> While Rapunzel and Clapsy were having fun among the flowers, somewhere far away from them, Silly Dwarf, one of the little friends of Snow White, was lost in the forest. Anyone there? I'm sinking. Oh, look, Rapunzel. Let's name... Hush. Hush, Clapsy. Do you hear that? Uh, Help. hear what? Help. Anyone there? I'm sinking. Someone needs help, Clapsy. Rapunzel put Clapsy on her hair and started running fast. It turns out that Silly Dwarf fell into a swamp and sunk almost completely. As soon as he cried out, Rapunzel came to his rescue. Oh, here I go! Huh? There he is! Hang on, we'll save you! Rapunzel held her hair tightly and threw it towards the Silly Dwarf in the swamp. You can do it with one hand! Come on, hold it tight. Okay, I've got it. Pull me out. Mm -hmm. whoa, whoa. Thanks to Rapunzel, the silly dwarf was saved from the swamp. But this time he was caught in a tree. Oh, whoa, my hat's still on. Oh, help, I'm stuck up here. <laughs> you little silly. Huh? What? How did you know my name is Silly? No, I don't. I was just laughing at your silliness. <laughs> Here, catch it. Silly Dwarf slipped down from the tree, clinging to Rapunzel's hair. Well, thank you. You saved my life twice. This forest is full of surprises. You should always be careful. Silly Dwarf was stunned when he saw a talking hair clip. Great Golden Dwarves, is that a talking hair clip? Her name is Clapsy. She was turned into a hair clip with a terrible magic by the witch. She has a sad story. And I am Rapunzel. So, who are you? I am Silly Dwarf. I am one of Snow White's tiny friends. Oh, I should have guessed. Silly Dwarf. Do you know Snow White? Yes, of course I know her. Today is Snow White's birthday. A very nice birthday party will be held at the castle. Would you like to join us? Oh, that's a great idea, isn't it, Clapsy? If there's birthday cake, how can I say no? <laughs> well, let's go before it's too late. Follow me. After the silly dwarf, Rapunzel and Clapsy walked a little. The silly dwarf suddenly stopped. Hmm, Rapunzel, I think we're on the wrong path. We will go this way. Oh, um, no. Uh, yeah, maybe this way. Oh, this way. This, I remember here. That way. Uh, uh, no, well, that way. This way. This way. While Silly Dwarf was running in different directions, he was confused about all the different paths. Silly, if you can't find the right way, the whole party will be over after we arrive. Rapunzel and Silly Dwarf were unaware that they came somewhere near the Cave of Hela while they were looking for the right way. My queen, 
Good news. Good news. Good news. What is it, Dunkov? You're bothering me. My queen, please come and see with your own beautiful eyes. <laughs> when Hela looked down from her cave, she saw the silly dwarf and Rapunzel. I can't believe it. Come on, Dunkov. Let's catch that dwarf so that Snow White will come to us again. <laughs> Hella created a magic ball made of jelly between her hands and waved it down the cave slope. The jelly ball got bigger as it rolled down. Wow, look, my queen, like a giant ball of grape jelly. While the silly dwarf, Rapunzel, and Clapsy were trying to decide the way to go, unaware of everything, Hella's magical ball hit and imprisoned silly dwarf. Hey, where did this come from? Smells like grape jelly. Oh, what is that? What's happening? I didn't do anything. I, I didn't do anything. Help! Until Rapunzel understood what was going on, Silly Dwarf started to rise towards the sky. Huh? Hey! Oh, no! As the Silly Dwarf comes closer to the sun, my magical jelly ball will be melted and... We'll turn into a piece of cake. <laughs> uh, no, Dunkov. We'll be melted and... While Hella was telling her treacherous plan, Silly Dwarf kept on rising to the sky. Rapunzel, on the other hand, tried to use her hair immediately to save the dwarf. She tried once... Twice, huh? But she couldn't save the silly dwarf. Oh, Rapunzel, Drado. Let's call Drado, and we can fly to the sky with his wings. That's a great idea, Clapsy. Rapunzel handed her hair to the breeze and shook it to the left and to the right. Drado, who was eating dragon fruit at the time, noticed Rapunzel's hair, asking for help. He figured there must be something wrong, so he took off immediately into the air. Drado, we will fly towards the sun. We must help Silly Dwarf. Rapunzel got on Drado, and they started to fly towards the sky together. The air got warmer as they got closer to the sun. Although Drado was affected by the heat, he continued to fly with all his might. Silly Dwarf rose so high from the earth that the forest seemed tiny below. Help! 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 I don't want to fall into Hella's cave! Help! As soon as the magical jelly ball completely melted, Silly Dwarf started to fall to the earth. Oh, I'm falling! Oh, I'm falling! Oh, oh. Drado caught Silly Dwarf with one last flap as he was about to fall completely. Oh, well that was close. That is the third time. We saved your life three times. You sure did. Where did this big bird come from? <laughs> He's a dragon, my friend, Drado. Finally, Silly Dwarf, Rapunzel, and Clapsy found the castle of Snow White, thanks to the dragon, Drado. Hey, look, there's the castle. Silly Dwarf immediately ran to Snow White. My princess, I'm back. Where have you been? We looked for you everywhere. We were so worried about you. I got lost in the forest, and unfortunately I got caught by Hella. Hella? Rapunzel and her friends saved me. Rapunzel, Clapsy, big giant dragon. Here's my birthday present for you, Snow White. Snow White was so happy to see Rapunzel. Also, she thanked them for saving Silly Dwarf. Oh my! 
What a wonderful surprise! Nice to see you! Happy birthday, Snow White! Thank you! Come on, let's go to the castle and have some fun! These two beautiful princesses danced and had fun all night at the birthday party. Hella and Dunkov, on the other hand, were still waiting for the magical jelly ball to melt and the silly dwarf to fall. Well, my queen, I wonder if your jelly ball didn't melt yet. It was supposed to be melted already. Dunkov, go and check. See if the silly dwarf is still hung up in the air. All right, my queen. I'm leaving right now. 